Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? All right? Yes. All right, welcome to my house. This is my first bicycle and the picture of that. It was six years old. Guinness record trophies. 18 September 77. And this is my, my first glove. So you can see <laughs> the big difference. So I I keep this as one of the my first things. You I, follow? We go to the area of, of my, my last day riding bicycle. The, the world Guinness record in Jin Mao in Shanghai. I climb many stairs in 39 minutes. This bicycle is, is signed for very important people like Marcoma, the winner of Dakar of uh, 2008, or Raga, Bo, Brian Lopes, or Fujinami. So it's uh, top people, and later I make Kenny sign here in the bicycle too. <laughs> Here the signature of the old people are visiting. Here I, I show you the where I collect all the old bicycles. First Montesitas, okay. Here is a Fantic Trial, Fantic, Marvishi, Bridgestone. This are bicycles from many years ago, like 30 years ago. The most important bicycles in here is this one. This is the first Monty. It was 25 years ago. First poster of the trial. And, and this is Andreu Codina, this is me, Hans Ray, and this is the really beginning of this sport. Here we have uh, Jordi Tares. All the places I have been is different countries. Colorado, United States, uh, Scotland, this is Mexico, Brazil, Russia, United States, Greece. Taiwan, United States, Las Vegas, uh, Budapest, uh, Brussels, there. <laughs> the most important thing of, of my life is the OTP Park in, in Japan. No? There is a one cinema, there is a BMX track, and inside a, a trials. And here, every night, uh, we do some, some gymnastics just to keep my body to stay fit. Yeah, stay fit no? So you don't not, get fat. Not big. Not big. <laughs> All my remembers of all my 30 years career are inside this house. Come with me. In, in the bottom you can see is uh, all, all the years of my, of my career. Every year there is picture and explanation what happened that year. From 1977 to 2008. Uh, I have my 12 titles of world championships, dancers, the mayots, the helmets, and here is all, all, all the pictures. Can you relate? <laughs> uh, this is uh, my my trophies hall. It's uh, it's already around little less than 1,000 trophies, and I put it all together here. And it's the first time some people shoot with the camera. From that uh, lock, from where is uh, the other rocks, is my training area. Uh, before it was good for my more for my performance. Now it's just taking care of my body, and it's uh, all locks, uh, all balance, and some difficult things. The first thing I saw was this rock. Looks like like a dog, and it's it's fantastic. I spent. A lot of time here in the summertime. Okay, goodbye. Thank Bye. you. See you later. Bye. After seeing Ot's place, Dani took me to the most desired training place of Spain, the Rocks of Gava. This is the place where many Spanish champions have been riding over the past three decades. For me it's paradise. The sun, the factory, the city, the rocks and the best teammates I can imagine.
From out of nowhere, an old friend who I lately only see on TV invited us to his hidden training spot in Kava. Hola, soy Tony Bow, estamos aquí en Gabá haciendo un entrenamiento. Uh, soy dos veces campeón del mundo outdoor, dos veces campeón del mundo indoor. Hello, and I'm Albert Cabestan from Spain also. We are having fun here in Gabá with our friends. Antes de pasar por la moto, estuve compitiendo en bicicleta, creo que me ayudó muchísimo eso hasta los 12 años. Y a partir de aquí empecé a competir con la moto y desde los 15 soy, soy profesional. As Tony, I started with the bicycle when I was young. I started with 5, 6 years old until when I was 12. Yo creo que ahora hay mucho más interés en la bici de trial, es, es muy diferente el estilo de moto al de antes y creo que tanto Lamping como Fujinami han tenido que cambiar un poco el estilo ya que antes estaban delante y de no haberlo cambiado un poco, sobre todo Fujinami no estaría ahora con nosotros en, en el Mundial Indoor. Creo que ha sido muy importante para Tony y para mí empezar con la bicicleta para hacer ese tipo de ride style. Lo que ha pasado aquí es que hemos llegado y queremos probar cosas things that we did in the bicycle, at the end you need to do with the motorcycle, not with the bike. Border Trials has been around since 1909 and has developed into something pretty big. For example, you have these factory riders with their expensive tailor-made bikes, the big professional teams and the top guys make a lot of money. However, it's hard to compare because bike trials is still a young sport and I'm convinced it will continue to grow in its own right as long as we keep on promoting it properly. Diez años el trial me lo imagino mucho más mucho más complicado y con una gran evolución de las motos. We have a lot of problems for going in the mountain with the motorcycle, so it's a difficult situation right now. But I think in the future they they will know what we are doing and we have more help. It's great to see that Tony and me started our career the same way and still share the same passion. My brother, who used to ride competitions with Tony, was really blown away from the big moves they pulled off. No doubt that what happened here in Europe made trials what it is today. But I believe it could have been bigger for sure. Extreme sports do usually have more chances in America and the people I interviewed all talked about the street riding in the UK. So I guess it's time to take you there in part two.